Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Danielle, for those of you who are new or don't know, and I am a self-proclaimed lifestyle enthusiast. And here on this channel, we use smart and logical decision-making to create the lives that we want. So, before I get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. Hit the notification bell too, so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video. I upload every Monday and Thursday, or every Tuesday and Friday. So let's get into the topic. Today I wanna to talk about some things, but majorly the things I changed in order to change. So a lot of us get caught up in our daily habits, things that we do out of muscle memory, things that we do out of pure automation. And so in order to create new habits, you have to kind of rewire your brain and essentially do things differently. So one of the main things that I started to do that was different than what I normally do is to get up early. Listen, I am not a morning person by any stretch, but it does become easier and easier to get up early the more often I get up early. I find that I'm more energized. I find that I'm more productive. You know, I find that it's a little bit easier. You know, I'm not in a rush. It's easier to get out of the house. It's easier to even do a workout. And also one of the great things about getting up early in the morning is you get some time to yourself before you start your day. Whether you work at home or whether you work a nine to five, like I do, you know, you need those moments to really have to yourself, especially when you're, early uh, when you wake up early in the morning your brain is still mush to some degree and so i read in an article that you're still somewhat like a seven-year-old child where you really get to soak up information like a sponge so it's really careful that your morning routine and what you do when you first wake up is important so outside of getting up early in the morning one of the main things that i change after getting up early in the morning is by listening to motivational videos, listen to inspirational videos, and kind of straying away from listening to music, um, especially listening to low vibrational music or, you know, hip hop and and you know music like that even some R&B I really don't like to consume early in the morning I find that it totally changes my mood you know it's not always bad but it's not always the most energizing thing to listen to when you first wake up even though a lot of people swear by not getting on your phone when you wake up eventually I'll get there but as of now, the main thing that I do is pop on a motivational video. I don't check, I try not my best to not check social media, to not check emails, to not check, you know, YouTube, to not check notifications of any kind. I pop up, I go on YouTube, and I have my motivational video and of course the algorithm helps it help that keep going anyway so nine times out of ten when i get up and turn on the youtube app is already a good video for me to go ahead and play and that way i'm still it takes me a good probably a good hour and a half maybe to really wake up so what i do is i really try to let that soak into my subconscious that's one of the most important things that i realized that has really changed my outlook and has totally changed my personality my character like it's kind of changed my mood essentially especially at the start of the day so being careful about what i consume um, and consuming positive videos or consuming really not even so much positive videos but consuming motivational videos inspirational videos and also videos that has a lot of affirmations and there is a ton limitless amounts on YouTube so that might be something you want to try now as far as you know getting up early too I 
found out now this is still I'm still in the midst of trying to make sure that this is a habit I have been doing much better with my workouts but I find that it's really difficult for me to make myself work out in the afternoon sometimes so I started just doing it in the morning although I hate hate getting up in the morning right now actually i should start saying i love getting up early in the morning because that's kind of how oops, that's kind of how manifestation works you know it's not the easiest thing in the world to get up at even 6 a.m and get your day started but i find if i just do it and don't hit my alarm then it makes my life so much easier and it makes my morning so much smoother i get to work earlier i have a few minutes to meditate before i get to work you know i kind of go ahead and separate myself from the outside world sitting in the car in the parking lot and you know I just go to town with my visualizations and meditation and so you know that's another really important thing I have changed in order to change another thing that I've changed is to I stopped watching so much TV listen I've always been a TV at you know a TV advocate I've always watched all the shows knew up always what was going on seeing every movie you know I loved TV but I find the more that I pour into my business the more I pour into this YouTube channel the more I pour into myself I don't really have time to watch TV as much you know I have a couple shows one or two shows that I watch but I tend to pick times of the day to watch them when I'm sort of focusing on my day job. So don't tell them. Shh. I tend to watch my TV shows during the day when I'm at work doing their work. And that way it frees me up some for when it's time to focus on my work so I can stay focused and concentrate. I give myself maybe one day a week to like binge watch TV. Typically that's either on a Sunday morning or it's on a random evening during the week maybe a Wednesday or Thursday or a Wednesday or a Tuesday um, typically in the middle of the week when I'm at that stage where I'm like okay you know I don't want to be at my nine to five it's kind of draining so I don't really feel like doing anything but other than that you know I really try to stick to one day where I watch you know more than two hours of TV like today I got home you know I ran a couple errands look for some things I really didn't turn the TV on except for background noise so I really didn't watch my shows I really didn't watch those kind of and I find that I barely even have shows to watch anymore just because you know it helps me stay productive to not be so worried about consuming so much TV so another thing that I changed is sleeping in now this do tie into sort of waking up in the morning earlier but it's a little different so I try not to hit my snooze button now the last couple of mornings I've been hitting my snooze button but tomorrow morning I'm definitely not because I find that I'm just more draggy more groggy more it takes me longer to wake up so I'm just gonna stop hitting my snooze button and sometimes that's a lot easier said than done but what I do is I pick one day a week to sleep in yes that includes the weekend listen I don't even want to sleep in on Saturday and Sunday like it's so much to do the earlier I get up the longer the day feels it feels like I'm being so much more productive and honestly I love that feeling a whole lot more than the feeling of laying in the bed and frankly at this point having a nine to five my body is kind of on a clock anyway so it becomes quite difficult to lay in the bed I literally have to put effort into sleeping in so I would have my body is on a clock so I get up at six something sometimes a little bit earlier maybe a little later but it's always around the time I normally get up to get ready to go to work so I still get up at that time but on the weekends I have to get up stir around a little bit play on my phone go use the bathroom go get a drink and then if I lay back in bed I can fall asleep so it takes some effort so at this point this stage in life is you know it's a whole lot easier to simply just get up and start my day some weeks I don't even sleep in Sunday or Monday I mean I'm sorry Sunday or Saturday so I end up just going ahead going ahead and get up anyway and it also keeps my body on a clock 
but what I don't want to do is to focus on my automation so much I want to control my body I want to control what I do and what I don't do and not do things automatically okay so thank you guys so much for watching those are just a few tips um, on things that I changed to begin to change poor habits listen like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so that you know every single time that I upload thank you again so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video